It's called the stone put, and today Lance Baruch is throwing a 16.4 pound rock. And this yep. is just a warm up. If I throw basically to the pitcher's mound, I'm right up there about near where I need to be. And then I go to a games and I get excited and I throw a little further. The stone put is similar to the shot put in the Olympics. It's one of the nine events Baruch will be competing in at an upcoming Scottish Highland Games in Minnesota. And it's an event that has given him trouble in the past. Today he's throwing about 40 feet, but recently one of the competitors he will face threw a rock a world record 63 feet. Baruch, a weightlifter and welder by trade, got into this sport about seven years ago. I had no throwing technique at all, no throwing background, but the thing that drew me in was basically, it's sort of like a brotherhood, very good sportsmanship, uh, very social people, usually a little beer, a little barbecue afterwards, so I was like, this is for me. What's the thrill you get out of it? Just uh, the struggle to improve myself. Like, I know I can throw a weight this amount of distance, and then if I, if I throw another foot, I'm like, hey, I've improved. The second event today is the 28 pound weight for distance. The longest throw wins. Lance can toss it about 60 feet today, but he's hoping for 70 feet at the Worlds. On this day, he's also throwing a 56 pound version of the metal ball. <sighs> Next up is the Scottish hammer throw, where a 16 pound round metal ball attached to a shaft is whirled above the head and then thrown over the shoulder. I think that's a fairly beautiful event because you have to be very flexible, have to have timing, and you have to pretty much know what you're doing. It, it's by far the most technical event out there. Barouche is certainly built for these games at six foot five and 295 pounds with 19 inch biceps and a 58 inch chest. And you can expect to see him competing against similar big boys at the Amateur World Championships in St. Paul in early September. There's 12 competitors, so I'm hoping for top eight. Yeah, that's my goal and I want to be the top Canadian there. Next year is uh, actually the Masters World Championships in my hometown in Scotland, Inverness, Scotland. So I'm hoping to get over there and do a tour for a couple of weeks and really see what it's all about. You can spin it in the air if you want, yeah. but most of them are too heavy to do that. So you pull and it flips over and pretty much just like that. Ah, the caber toss, perhaps the ultimate event at the Highland Games. At least it's the most popular. And it's not about how far you can toss the pole. It must go end over end with the big end striking the ground first. The idea is to get the smaller end to hit the ground at about 12 o'clock relative to the direction of the run. So a judge is running behind you and he'll look and go, can we throw at 12 o'clock? 12.01 sometimes. <laughs> That was a 12. It's not really like any other athletic event. It doesn't matter if you've trained or you have an athletic background. It's all about balance and knowing how to do it. So it's uh, balance, building up momentum, stopping suddenly, and then pulling very, very hard. It's everything. It's athletic ability, speed, skill, strength, all rolled into one. So I'd say the person that's the best caber tosser is usually the best athlete on the field. This event is called Weight for Height, tossing that darn 56 pound ball over a bar using only one hand. And it's an event he does all right in. Baruch will work out here about six to eight hours a week, plus gym time. But he considers it more fun than work. Basically any day I'm out there throwing is a good day. Stones, I'm, I've been kind of weak on in the past, but I've put in a lot of work on. Generally, I love throwing the hammer. Caber, of course, because uh, that's when the old Scottish ladies come out and give me a kiss. Uh, wait for height because I usually do quite well in that. The other ones I'm getting better day by day. <sighs>